Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. I am back to do a new release Tuesday video and today I'm talking about books that are coming out on Tuesday, August 27th. First up, I have Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and illustrated by Faith Aaron Hicks. Deja and Josiah are seasonal best friends. Every autumn all through high school, they've worked together in the best pumpkin patch in the entire world. They say goodbye every Halloween and are reunited every September 1st. But this Halloween is different. Josiah and Deja are finally seniors and this is their last year at the pumpkin patch. Josiah is ready to spend the entire night feeling melancholy about it. Deja isn't ready to let him. She's got a plan. What if they went out with a bang? They could see all the sights, taste all the snacks, and Josiah could finally talk to that cute girl that he's been mooning over for three years. What if their last shift was an adventure? So this is a new graphic novel from Rainbow Rowell and Faith Aaron Hicks. It sounds super adorable and I'm honestly like really excited to read it. I really love the way that Rainbow Rowell writes like these contemporary young adult books. So if you are a fan of graphic novels or if you are a fan of Rainbow Rowell or Faith Aaron Hicks, then you can go ahead and pick up Pumpkin Heads today. Next, I have Everything Inside by Edwidge Danticant, and this is a new collection of short stories. Rich with hard-won wisdom and humanity, set in locales like Miami and Port-au-Prince and a small unnamed country in the Caribbean, Everything Inside is at once wide in its scope and extremely intimate. It explores the forces that bring us together and tear us apart and sometimes in the same searing instant. This is a collection of eight short stories that look at things like a romance that unexpectedly sparks between two wounded best friends, a marriage that ends with what seems like noble reasons but has irreparable damage, a baby's christening that brings together three generations of a family and trying to bridge the gap between the old and the new. Edwidge Danticant wrote the book Brother I'm Dying as well as Claire of the Sea Light. This is a collection of stories that is on a lot of people's highly anticipated lists including our own here at Book Riot and Lit Hub, BuzzFeed, The Los Angeles Times, Esquire. Um, so if you are a fan of short story collections, this one should definitely be on your list. And again, that one is called Everything Inside. The next book I have is The Beekeeper of Aleppo by Christy Lefteri. Nuri is a beekeeper and Afra, his wife, is an artist. In the mornings, Nuri rises early to hear the call to prayer before driving off to his hives in the countryside. On the weekends, Afra sells her colorful landscape paintings and the open air market. They live a simple but rich life with family and friends in Aleppo until the unthinkable happens. When all they love is destroyed by war, Nuri knows they have no choice but to leave. But escaping Syria will be no easy task. Afra has lost her sight, leaving Nuri to navigate her grief as well as their perilous journey through Turkey and Greece to an unexpected end in Britain. So this is one of those books that feels extremely timely and relevant to be reading right now. It works at putting like human faces and stories to these refugees from Syria who are faced with these really difficult and nearly impossible situations. And I think it'll do a really good job of providing perspective on the journey that these people are forced to go through and sort of what they're looking for and what they're leaving behind. And again, that's called The Beekeeper of Aleppo. The next book I have is A Better Man by Louise Penny. This is the next book in the Inspector Gamash series. It's Gamash's first day as the head of the homicide unit, a job he temporarily shares with his previous second in command. Flood waters are rising across the province. In the middle of the turmoil, a father approaches Gamash asking for help to find his daughter. As crisis piles upon crisis, as crisis piles upon crisis and Gamash is trying to hold off encroaching chaos, he realizes that this search should be abandoned. But with a daughter of his own, he's developing this profound and perhaps unwise empathy for this father. As the rivers rise and the social media onslaught against Gamash gets crueler, a body is discovered and in the chaos, mistakes are made. So like I said, this is the next book in the Inspector Gamash series. I know a lot of people are huge Louise Penny fans, so this is definitely a book I knew I needed to at least mention that is coming out. And in this book, Gamash is faced with a very difficult question, and that is, what would you do if your child's killer walked free? So if you are interested in picking this one up, again, that's called A Better Man by Louise Penny. Next up, I have My Life as an Ice Cream Sandwich by Evie Zoboy. 12-year-old Ebony Grace Norfleet has 
lived with her beloved grandfather, Jeremiah, in Huntsville, Alabama, since she was born. As one of the first black engineers to integrate NASA, Jeremiah has nurtured Ebony Grace's love for all things science and science fiction, especially Star Wars and Star Trek. But in the summer of 1984, when some trouble arises with Jeremiah, it's decided that Ebony Grace will spend a few weeks in Harlem with her father. Harlem is an exciting and terrifying place for a girl from Huntsville, and Ebony Grace's instinct is to retreat into her imagination. But soon, 126th Street starts to reveal that it has more in common with her beloved sci-fi than she ever imagined. And by the end of the summer, Ebony Grace learns that Harlem has a place for a girl whose eyes are always on the stars. So this is a new middle grade novel from E.B. Zoboy. Um, E.B. Zoboy has written a few young adult books and like sort of border middle grade and young adult books. This one is straight up middle grade and it sounds really cute and really interesting. So if you are someone who enjoys contemporary middle grade or you have someone in your life who enjoys contemporary middle grade or is in middle grade, uh, then you can go ahead and pick up My Life is an Ice Cream Sandwich today. And the final book I have today is The Other's Gold by Elizabeth Ames. Assigned to the same suite their freshman year of college, Lainey, Ji Soon, Alice, and Margaret soon become inseparable. The leafy green campus they move through together, the idyllic window seat that they share in their suite, and the passion and ferocity that school and independence awakens in them ignites an all-encompassing love for each other. But they soon find that their bonds must weather threats from the dark forests of their childhood and come at them from institutions, from one another, and ultimately from within themselves. So this book follows these four friends as they start off in their freshman year and then moves through their life as they become new parents. Each of them makes a mistake in this story and so this book is split into four parts and each part is dedicated to the mistake that each friend makes. This is a debut novel that focuses on female friendship, on the things that they and their loved ones are capable of, as well as what they are willing to forgive and sort of forge these stronger bonds through. And again, that's called The Other's Gold. So those are all of the books I have for you guys this week. Let me know down in the comments below what books you guys are excited about picking up, whether it's one of these or another one that I didn't mention here today. Otherwise, I will see you guys again next Tuesday with another new release video.